Hi amazing cancers, welcome to my channel Simone Speaks. Thank you for tuning into your general love reading for July for all cancer placements, sun, moon, rising, may, as well as Venus, and maybe even Mercury because we are in a Mercury retrograde. So if you wanted to watch this video for your Mercury sign, that is also fine, okay? If you would like to get in contact with me for your own reading, my website and my email will be in the box below. On the website, it will have all the packages and payment options there available for you guys to purchase. And on my email, you guys can shoot me an email, okay, with your sun sign, of course, cancer, and the person of interest is sign, okay? And I will get that reading to you, all right, upon checkout. So we're going to start the reading in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So let's see what you have for July, for the mid to end of July, cancers. We have the magician card that flinged out. So beautiful card so far. Let's flip these cards over here and see what you got. Soulmate. Wow. Healing family issues. And express your love. Okay. So Cancer, I can boldly say that you are going to get some kind of love offer. Whether it's on the tippy tippy last day of July or, or some kind of text message or social media message. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of communication here. Um, you, you, you know, your family and their family could know each other. There even could be some mutual friends, like your friends know their friends. So there is a really, really nice kind of warm energy here, Cancer, for the most part. And I haven't even pulled a lot of cards yet, but I can definitely tell by the energy that there is a very, very warm romantic feeling here. So for a couple of you, or for if not all of you that resonate with this reading, the card says, yes. Yes, 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 this is your soulmate, okay? So there could be a soulmate um, in your midst, Cancer, or there could be a soulmate coming towards you, or you're going towards a soulmate at this time. Um, the energy that I get overall is that this could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Cancer, Pisces. So I'm getting mainly fire and water for the most part. The King of Cups wants to come out okay so water with water cancer pisces scorpio with another cancer pisces scorpio for the most part and it does show here that somebody somebody has definitely manifested this okay for a couple of you i'm hearing loud and clear this is a reunion okay you and this person are back in each other's lives but there is family issues that you both are working on okay i also want to say uh financial issues so i'm getting family issues and financial issues maybe it could be the focal point of your month cancer all right like we were in cancer season so happy birthday of course but not only that it definitely Definitely does feel that um there's just energy here of you know wanting to work on you know your your interpersonal you know connections and people in your life for the most part all right trying to get things you know I feel back on the on the right page here there's a lot of red and green and like dusty brown in the cards so the dusty brown to me kind of represents with the grayish color of you know the dust settling, okay, the dust has been settled, so things for the most part have, I feel, been resolved, um, but there's like that 20%, you know, cancer that has to be worked out, so I am seeing here for a lot of you, there could have been um, some some conversations that you've been thinking about, you know, they've been thinking about, you've been playing in your head over and over and over again, like a tape recorder here, um, and, and we have your own card. This is quite remarkable. We have your own card um, more than once showing up here. So we have the King of Cups, which is also your energy cancer, and we have the Chariot card, okay? So that's letting me know that clearly, you know, you and this person um, are trying to go towards each other. In fact, the Chariot card, the Chariot card is literally facing this card right over here, okay? The Chariot card is literally looking over here, okay? So it's, it, there, there's, there's movement, you know, there's forward movement. So if you're somebody watching who's had maybe a little bit of a rough patch, you know, maybe nothing's really been kicking off here and going in your, in your favor, um, it looks like luck is gonna be turning in your favor, Cancer. Let's pull three more cards here. 
uh, all cancers watching that resonate with this reading july 2019 mid to end of july we have deception in reverse beautiful card cancer so with this with deception in reverse that lets me know that someone is trying to turn away from their wicked ways here you know someone is trying to leave the wicked east end here and and go towards the the happy north or something like that you know someone is really really trying to turn turn the chariot around um, in the positive direction of fulfillment and of love and unity. So for, for you cancers, your reading is very, very positive so far. Knock on wood, right? We have trust in reverse. I know sometimes you guys get some harsh readings, you know, across the board. You guys sometimes have a lot of really, you know, hard things going on, which I understand, you know, you guys are very, very, you guys are a very, very sentimental sign. You know, I'm, I'm cancer rising, so I understand um, you know, you guys are the sign of, of, of nurturing in the home base and, you know, wanting everybody to be, you know, one and on the same accord here. So I am seeing the energy very, very strongly. So you cancer, you know, you are in your, your energy, you're in your element. That's for sure. There is nothing about you in July. That's not you. That's not, you know, you being your, your true cancerian self, you, you know, you are, you're proud of that. You are standing in that energy of wanting people to love on you and you love on them so the energy i get kind of here is that like anybody who has not been in your good books has not shown you the love that you want they're kind of like you know on the bench you know they're waiting for you cancer so there is an energy here of like someone waiting for you you waiting for somebody okay like someone is waiting is is definitely waiting for something i feel here let's see what the cards say send love look at that send love beautiful beautiful cancers beautiful reading yeah send love so this card i placed it right next to the soulmate card without even knowing what the card would say so that's pretty telling so it's saying send love send love to a soulmate that's what the cards are saying cancer so are you are you having somebody on red are you putting somebody on red? Are you making somebody have sleepless nights over you, Cancer? What's going on here? The card says you are safe, friendship, and nature. Okay, nature also fell out. Nature, friendship, and you are safe. You are safe. Okay, so what this card is saying, I can interpret this. What it's saying is that, you know... If you had some, you know, reservations about if you wanted to give certain people in your life a second chance or if you wanted to go towards this person, they've reached out, you know, they've apologized, they've kind of bend over backwards, cancer, to get to you, okay, or vice versa, cross watcher or not, right? It's saying that it's safe. It, it, the energy here, like I said, is very, very warm. This even could be a rekindling of a, of a friendship or relationship I'm seeing here. This could be like, you know, starting over, forgiving this person. So lots of energy of, you know, let's start over. You know, let's say kumbaya, let's move forward with this with this connection. Because I do feel for a lot of you, this could be a Scorpio. This could be, I'm seeing a Cancer, like yourself, Cancer Sun. This could be a Pisces. I'm getting lots of water. I'm mainly getting water, okay? So if you're watching, Watching this video and you're with an earth sign um let's see what okay so i'm just gonna pull four cards here okay because this energy is very very clear okay the energy is saying send love to a soulmate it's it, you're safe to love you're safe to communicate with this person because this person does have good intentions i see here okay like you're no longer feeling trapped someone's out of playing the devil you know someone's done with being the devil so i mean devil is capricorn so I said Earth, right? Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing a water sign turn down an Earth sign. So what I'm seeing for a lot of you is I'm seeing I'm seeing a water sign turn down an Earth sign or turn down a Gemini. Or this could be an Aries as well. Like there's there's some kind of like problem there with you Cancers especially cancer sun there's something about an earth sign or an air sign especially gemini that you do not like okay i'm getting some kind of like political energy like this could be like very diplomatic so like maybe you're you're handling this cancer this month very diplomatic like very very straightforward you know like no nonsense like if you don't like this person they're gonna know about it you know 
And if you love this person, they're going to know about it too. So, you know, I see water signs this month, including your sign cancer, being very vocal, you know, once again, speaking out once again, you know, being kind of, um, you know, just really just being more, more, I feel like open about how you really feel. So you definitely have options. The good thing is you have options. You know, the energy here is very flexible, Cancer. So I feel that you're able to do whatever you feel your heart needs to, you know, go towards. That, that's kind of what I want to say here. We have this, this chariot energy in the cards a, lo a lot, you know, actually more than once. We have it here with the horse and, and you know, the chariot. We have it here again. Okay, so we have this energy of like moving forward, you know, going forward, forgetting the past and and moving forward with some kind of like optimism, you know, like the energy here is very optimistic, Cancer, seriously, it really, really is. All right. So if this resonates with you so far, then go ahead and tap that like button. But I, I definitely do feel here that you and this person um, are on the same page in terms of, you know, wanting harmony and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there could be, there could have been some um, parental problems, maybe like a, a grandmother. I'm seeing a, a, a grandmother, grandfather figure here. Okay, so the, so there, so there could have been problems in the past, right? But for the most part, you've healed from that. I do see here, Cancer, that you've healed. You've you've healed from that for the most part. You've healed from a lot of like family family problems, you know, financial issues. Like you're back, you're back on. You, you know, I feel you're back on track, Cancer. I feel that you're on back. You're back on track, and um, I feel that lots of money and lots of people are going to be coming towards you. I really do feel people intuitively are going to be coming towards you with new offers and money. Yeah, look at that five of pentacles so there was money issues before there was an energy i also want to say here of feeling left out in the cold someone felt left out in the cold but that's all changing now i mean that's all going to be changing now okay so i i am st i am still seeing a reluctant uh reluctant energy here to move forward cancer um i am seeing that you know like this person has money so you know there is an energy here of like somebody has a lot of money. Somebody's trying to have a lot of money. You know, someone's trying to get their money up, maybe have more of a stability before advancing towards this person. I feel this is spot on here. You know, wanting to have more money, wanting to have maybe more options. I mean, I pulled the seven of cups earlier. So maybe you're just going to be looking at your options, Cancer, you know, kind of reviewing things over and over and over again. But be careful of that, Cancer. Be careful of overthinking. Like, there's nothing wrong. I want to say with this energy, there's nothing wrong with looking over something. But remember, when you're not taking action, you're still taking action. Okay, if you're not taking action towards something, it, you're still making a decision not to do something. So if maybe, to, maybe to you, you know, in your head, the way the way ego is, it makes you feel like you're doing the right thing, but in reality, you're you're, you're kind of like stopping yourself from you know really healing and moving forward. You're kind of stopping yourself here, and and this energy, I think, in another month would not apply, but because it's in your month and it's in Mercury retrograde, I I do feel that you know reviewing things is wise, but. But don't like keep replaying it in your mind to the point where you're driving yourself insane. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, don't, don't, don't harp on the past. The past is done. So it's either you're going to move forward, Cancer, or you're not. So let's see what they feel. Okay. What is the person you're watching this video for feel about this? Well, they think, they think that you're up to no good. Okay. Pay attention to red flags. So the way the person is feeling right now about you is that you, that you have something up your sleeve, Cancer, that you're not able to, um, move forward for some reason. And it, and they think that it's for a bad reason. So to you, it's not for a bad reason, but to them it is. Okay. So there could be maybe like a third party. All right. Maybe another job offer. Maybe, you know, you're a Cancer watching and you have a lot of job offers but you're not sure which job offer to take because you fear there's red flags. So I can interpret that card in a lot of different ways. But I think for a couple of you, if not all of you, that message is actually 
both yours, okay? The message of, you know, different job offers, don't know which one to take, and the other message of this person views you as, you know, sketchy is for a good reason because they're not sure what you're doing, okay? Because you're not doing anything, Cancer, right? Like you're just kind of standing there. So people around you, I think, are waiting for you, Cancer, to, to get on with the show here. They're just like, what's what's taking you so long, you know? The check in the clock here, you know, they're checking the time, like, when is the Cancer coming? When is the Cancer coming? So I feel that very, very deeply here. People are waiting on you, Cancer, to to uh, to answer. The song I'm hearing is Ring My Bell. The song of Ring My Bell is coming up to me. Like, um, I'm hearing that in my head, okay? Ring my bell, my bell. Like, I'm hearing that song in my head, okay? So this person or people, this could be career and love, they're waiting for you to come through and you're just not doing, you're, not, you're just not... You're just not on it. So I think if you're, you're probably still healing, I think, you know, for a lot of you, maybe you're just still having some doubts about this. All right, let's do a Celtic, please. I'm going to do a Celtic real quick for you guys. All righty. So what is coming up for the cancers in love? What is coming up for the cancers, please? What is coming up here? Cancer July, Cancer July, yeah, so basically, forget the Celtic because the answers are right there on the card, basically, you're waiting for the right opportunity, and um, eventually, eventually, you'll know what to do, I feel that your intuition, most importantly, Cancer, will tell you exactly what to do, but for now, you're resting, for now, you're resting. For now, you're trying to get your get your thoughts together, get your emotions together. But the moon card, the moon card is here. So what I want to say to you, Cancer, is be careful of the tower falling on you, okay? Because you know how the universe is when you take too long and, you know, you, you throw a lot of doubt energy out there. The universe will be like, you know what? You're taking too long. We're going to nip it in the butt here. So be careful of the tower energy, that's what I'm feeling, Cancer. Be careful of the tower here because you're not making up your mind. So the ball, I think, is in your court. This is somebody from the past. This is somebody from the past. And the ball is in your court, I see here. But you're taking your sweet time, okay? So the cross watchers, Cancer's watching. This kid with a Scorpio. You have Scorpio on their chart. They have Scorpio on their chart. So you're taking your sweet time here. Yeah, seven of swords reverse. So, you know, you're trying to, I feel, forgive this person. They're trying to forgive you. But, you know, all you have to do, Cancer, is make up your mind. So once again, there's tower energy here. The death card is Scorpio. The tower card is Scorpio. So the tower energy, I think, is going to come through here if you don't, you know, kind of move a little bit, you know, towards the goal here. All right. Yeah, nine of wands, three of cups. Yeah, so crying over spilt milk. Someone's crying over spilt milk. So, you know, wait for the new opportunity, Cancer, and commitment. So I. So what did I say? What did I say? The tower is here. Yeah, yeah, Cancer, the tower is definitely here. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to see it, but I'm glad that it showed itself. The tower is definitely here because you're not making a decision. So something's going to, I feel, collapse and kind of like, you know, burn, be burned down um, so that you can kind of, you know, pick back up the slack here and dust yourself off and get on with the show. That's exactly what's going to happen, Cancer. All right. I wish you guys a happy birthday once again. Um, and take care of yourself, Cancer. Don't be too hard on yourself during Mercury Retrograde season. I will see you on the next video. God bless. Bye.